when I was in school, like, I mostly missed out on my attendance. I didn't pay attention because it didn't make sense. Not being able to spell properly and things like that, it, it kind of gets you down. I walk with a woman called Dan. She told me to keep a diary and I would write the diary and uh, bring it into work and she'd correct the spelling and at the start. You see, when I met Linda first, I didn't realise how big her difficulties were. I did realise she regretted her education. She would have worried about her spelling and all the rest, wage and her handwriting. And I think that's held her back with her confidence and all the rest. It's important for her to know how much she helped me and how much she made me feel. And I'm grateful for that. Dear Anne, I wanted to write this letter for a long time. It's been over a year now since I started my new job. I was so nervous about meeting new people. But you were the first person I met. And you were so welcoming and helpful. And made me feel so at ease. You know how I was when I was young and I didn't listen at school and how I left school young and missed out on education. You listened and you advised me to look online for help with courses. Fortunately, I found an advertisement for Nale, so I got in touch with them. They were so helpful. I was also very lucky having you helping me with spelling and reading and the meaning of words during lunch break. Without your help or guidance, I wouldn't be able to write these words. Lots of love. Linda. Sorry, Linda. That's so sweet. I didn't realise I was doing anything at all at the start, till she started to confide in me. Things that you take for granted mean so much for somebody else. <laughs> 